I rise today to urge support for my resolution to declare September 2018 as Meningococcal Immunization Awareness Month in the state of Michigan. When I was a student at Kalamazoo College, there was another student there named Emily Stillman. Emily was studying theater and psychology, and from the time she set foot on campus, she was known for being funny, charismatic, and the kind of person you want as a friend. One day during her sophomore year, Emily called home complaining of a headache. Within just 36 hours, she passed away. Emily had contracted meningococcal disease, an illness that's extremely dangerous because of how difficult it is to diagnose and how quickly it progresses. She had received vaccinations for other forms of meningococcal disease, but the vaccine for serogroup B, the kind of men uh, meningitis she had, was not yet available in the United States. Though it's rare, bacterial meningitis still affects between 600 and 1,000 people in the U.S. every year. 15% of the people affected will die from the disease, and 11 to 19% of those who live will have life-altering side effects. College campuses are especially susceptible to serogroup B outbreaks. This disease is every parent's nightmare, every sibling's nightmare. But a vaccine for meningitis B is now available in Michigan. Untimely deaths like Emily's are now preventable. Emily's parents, including her mother, Alicia, who is with us in the gallery today, have made it their mission to spread awareness about the illness and prevent other parents from having to say goodbye to a child. The CDC recommends that young adults between the ages of 16 and 23 get vaccinated if they're at high risk of contracting the disease. It is critical that students, parents, educators, universities, and healthcare providers understand the dangers of meningitis B and spread awareness that a vaccine is available. Colleagues, I urge you to join me in supporting this resolution to honor Emily's legacy and her family's advocacy and protect the people of our state from this disease. This resolution is now available for co-sponsorship on the electronic calendar, and I urge your support. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The question is on the adoption of House Resolution 381. All those in favor of the resolution will say aye. aye. Those opposed will say nay. The resolution is adopted.